Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a good Saturday night. Um, before I begin telling you what I am going to show you here in the next few uh, pictures, um, I'm asking that um, just in case, please make a point to as quickly as possible um, copy this video and make it viral because I think I may be seeing something here that is, um, well, let's just say, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll let you decide, okay? And so, as you guys know, I have a, uh, a very nice camera, you know, it's, it's a $2,000 camera, um, it's a Sony uh, NEX VG10, it's got 14.3 4 megapixels, it does 1080p uh, video and has a 200 millimeter zoom built in and, and the ability to change lenses so this camera is about a two thousand dollar camera it's not a toy um, and I got it for because you know of all of the things that we're seeing and um, you know, things that are developing and so one of the things that I've been doing recently is taking pictures of the Sun and I've been adjusting the aperture on the camera and stuff like that and one of the things that's really neat about this camera is I can take pictures of the Sun and I can also want to you know I don't see it when I'm taking the picture but when I get in I can actually see some of the stars and, and stuff like that that are around uh, um, the Sun for example let me just show you so you can see you can actually see some of the stars and stuff that are that you normally would not be able to see because when you're looking directly into the sun obviously it's too bright but if you can adjust the aperture just a little bit you can change that so um, right now I'm flipping through some pictures for you just to show you kind of what I see when I go outside and, and take pictures so I got inside and uh, in order to adjust these so that you can actually see what you're looking at um, what I'll do is I'll create like a white balance and what it does is it pulls out the whites wherever they need to be so you can actually see the contrast better. Contrast alone doesn't do the best job in the world. But what I'm going to do is on a couple of these I'm going to show you something that I found. And uh, what's really interesting about what I found is, is it seems to be about equidistant from the sun in all pictures. It's also the same size and it's also um, very spherical looking and what you're seeing right now is what I would normally see with the picture but I'm going to go ahead and pull this out so I'm going to use a tool that I use called GIMP uh, GIMP is a freeware probably the best paint tool that you can possibly get okay I've got that right here so okay so I'm gonna I've I've messed around with uh, the whole, you know, I haven't done anything to this yet. I'm going to apply one thing to it. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out all the colors in the picture. And when I do that, you're going to see something really interesting. So this is just color in hand. You see that right there? I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's zoom in just a little bit. And this is not the only picture I'm going to show you. Okay? You notice how far it is away from the sun. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a white balance on this area right here. Just to balance the white. Okay? And what's interesting about this is that looks spherical, does it, does it not? And there looks like there could be something right here but that's that would be very difficult to pull out because it's very blended okay so that's the first picture let me show you the second okay we're back to the preview area that's the first picture you saw so now I'm gonna skip to you know okay let's take a look at this picture here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up real quick Here it is. Okay. Um, and now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to apply the same effect. Color enhance. Okay. And you can see that this right here is just, it looks, I don't really know what that is, 
but it's definitely not spherical. I think that's just an anomaly right there. But let's take a look at this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a white balance to this now. So let's go ahead and do that with this area. And just so you can see, I'll apply a white balance to this other area too. Okay, so there we go. Now, um, if I compare the distance, let's see. If I compare the distance between what I'm seeing on the first one that we looked at and that one, if you notice, they're about the same and they're about the same size, right? Can you see that? Okay. You notice that these two pictures. Basically, you can tell this one was taken when the sun was larger or when I probably had less of a zoom on and this one was taken a little bit farther away. In both cases, okay, obviously this thing is, um, when the sun, depending on what time of the day it is, it looks different on where it is, but the size of it and the location and, and the location as far as the distance from the sun seems to be the same. Now, I'm going to show you one more picture and this last picture to me is the, is the smoking gun, okay? So let me pull that one up. That should be this one right here. This picture has an amazing amount of detail in it once I do the color enhance, which to me is, well, see for yourself. Let's pull this thing up real quick. And here it is. Okay, you ready for this? Same effect, okay? I'm going to enhance the color and then I'm going to zoom in after that so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at that. Let's zoom in just a little bit. That's not a lens flare, folks. Okay? That is not a lens flare. This picture was taken outside. Let's go ahead and apply a white balance to it so maybe we can pull out the, uh, the differences a little bit better. Look at that. So what I suggest that you do is please copy this video as soon as possible and make it viral so everybody knows what's going on.